and here we go this is the Brunson so although this has been reviewed before there are a few little changes one they're calling this for 4.1 so it is still the series 4 Brunson where you've got a 29 up front and a 27 and a half at the back they've simply updated the coloring and that's about it honestly We'll go over the rest of the bike as this is the S spec, so you'll get to see exactly what you get now when you buy this bike. But don't expect any major changes from the current 4 series, which is still in existence, just new colors, so they put 4.1. So like I said, with this one, you're getting a 27 and a half on the back and a 29 on the front. Both of them have got the Minion tire on it, front and rear specific. You have a 27 and a half by 2.4 on the rear, and this is gonna be a nice fast rolling but heavy traction tire, all tubeless ready, obviously. And on the front, you have a 29 with a 2.5 inch wide setup, which is a nice beefy setup. So this is gonna give you a lot of traction and control around those corners, especially at higher speeds. And again, tubeless ready. Going with the ever popular Fox Performance 36. This is a very customizable fork. You're gonna get good control out of it, good responsiveness. You'll be able to insert spaces if you want. Your rebound control is all on the bottom and all on the top. You're getting your compression settings and air settings. So you're gonna be able to really push this fork to its limits. Obviously with the geometry of this bike, this is designed to go downhill. If you've seen Remy Metalia's videos, his cameraman rides this current Bronson or he's got the gold version and it handles pretty much everything you can throw at it with a backpack full of camera gear on it. With the S-Spec, this comes with the GX drivetrain, full setup, front, rear, everything to do with it is all GX, so super good performance here. Snappy, responsive, good price point, so it's not crazy expensive, and a 30 tooth on the front for the chain ring. Good size there, it does fit a 32, which is nice to know if you're doing a little faster pace stuff, but, Otherwise, fantastic shifting all around. Head with the GX shifter up top. Brakes, impressively wise, they've gone with the code setup here. So this is the code R, so it is the entry level code, but obviously that is into the enduro kind of downhill range of brakes. So you're getting huge braking performance out of these. Lots of stopping power, four piston in the calipers, decent sized rotors. Now they're not 200 plus, but you will get a lot of stopping power this kind of smaller on the back than i would have expected but again good good stopping power out of the code break you shouldn't have any issues unless maybe a long long descent and you're a heavier back brake rider than you should be rear shocks sticking with the rock shock super deluxe so this one again super customizable quick adjustments for the preload and compression is all air secondary chamber and that is obviously attached to the kind of fancy vpp suspension which is a softer supple kind of suspension still responsive but on those sharper edges it really attacks it and takes it super well so you feel a lot less of the sharper hits while going downhill overall really well performing Santa Cruz obviously has that premium price tag to it. One, because it's carbon fiber is so nice, so good, so durable. But two, they also offer things like lifetime bearing in the suspension. So although they already have higher quality bearings in it, if you ever do need new bearings, you just email them, they mail them out to you. And if you've got the tools, you put them in. If not, you'll have to get the shop to do it. But not many places offer that feature like most brands you'd be paying three to four hundred dollars for a full setup of bearings so it's awesome that they are reliable that you won't need to change them as often so there'll be less downtime and less maintenance costs and more importantly that you don't even need to pay for the bearings in the first place which is a huge cost saving on the down tube you have a single piece up there for a tailgate pad so that'll protect it when you're putting it in the back of a truck and then the big long lower piece which will help protect from rock and debris Obviously that does leave this little window here of nothing, which I feel like they should have filled because now you're gonna have to get a mismatch piece if you wanna keep your bike really well protected or go with the clear vinyl stuff like a ride wrap. The seat post on the S-Kit model is actually the RockShox hydraulic one. So this one, if you haven't used, is super fast, super responsive. This is a size large and has a 175 mil post in it. So you gotta get a lot of room out of that. Obviously with that VPP suspension as well, it allows a lot of insertion to it. 
because nothing is rocking around there. It's kind of rocking on the outside of that seat tube. The Bronson also has a super oversized protector on the back for the chain, which is really nice. And although they don't have any protector there, it does have a cross patch. So hopefully that'll stop any chain from damaging it if it gets sucked up in. Nice little logo on the back there, which says Bronson. Advertising the VPP suspension on the back of the seat tube. And yeah, this is a black, matte black color scheme with like a soft mint interior. Looks really nice. It's a really good complement to the gold, which if you haven't seen, there it is. That is the gold. So technically that is the bronze four and it looks fantastic too, but definitely complements each other being a dark but bold lettering and a bright but dimmed down lettering option. Obviously with all of Santa Cruz's carbon frames internally routed and they do have chambers to follow. So it's really easy to pull those cables through maintenance wise and you don't get any rattling around in their carbon frames. You got a good rise to the Bergtech handlebar and stem. Looks clean, looks really nice, especially the stem. The wheels are race face AR, so these ones are pretty much their go-to. They put this on everything pretty much unless it has reserve to it. They do have a couple other options, but for the most part, these race face ones are super durable and good performance. Like we don't have any issues with them breaking. They've got good durability to them. The Bronson is definitely for that heavy trail rider who likes to hit every bump in its way or is potentially doing some downhill too. Overall, bikes nowadays are becoming more and more capable and something like the Bronson or the Fuel EX, all these new series bikes where they've got matching 29s or 29 and 27 and a half, these are all designed now to be as fast pedaling as possible on the flat flowy trails, but also now super capable off-road. Obviously, if you were entering a cross-country race, this is not the fastest option around there. With a 32 pound weight, it's uh, obviously heavier than what you could get for a similar price range. Again, similar like the blur or the top fuel, you'd be dropping seven, eight pounds just by switching to those, which will make up a big difference over a longer cross-country style race. For everyday endurance and everyday enduro or trail riding, this is gonna be a comfy, fast, confident rolling bike. You can really point this down any sort of sketchiness and it should just eat it up, no problem. So yeah, quick overview of the S kit in the new Bronson 4.1 colorway. Hopefully it helped and uh, subscribe for more of these and we'll uh, do more. All right, thanks guys, good luck.